Ladies, gentlemen, esteemed non-binaries, trash can all, welcome back. We're getting back into Cry of Fear. We're near the end. Oh. First time we unlock the door, we gained a pistol that takes... Let me check my twit keys here. Last time we dispatched with the good doctor. Oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah, that's familiar. Uh, we dispatched with the good doctor last time. We are unfortunately still have that permanent wound. So it turns out getting shot in the shoulder isn't solved with things like mystery fluids. I'm sure mystery fluid can help. Alas. Actually, let's be sure. Yeah, some some more ammo. No mystery syringes so far though. Uh. I'm hearing the sounds of life is slightly off putting. I know, I know. It's rough, son. We got a little ways to go yet. <sighs> oh yeah, upon dispatch of the good doctor, we were rewarded with... And strangely enough, apparently the, the doctor just had a pocket full of revolver ammo in magazine format. Just, just ready to go. Ooh. Ah, oh, hey. We, we got a row ahead of us with a busted up shoulder. All right. Yeah. I was saying, I don't know whom's amongst the team audio audio was their detail but they did a hell of a job I mean it's a nice break you, you have a chance to collect your thoughts although I feel a bit sheepish for not having pressed on past this across the lake in the light of day So long in the dark, it's a little more ominous. Almost home. We're almost at the end. Like I said, you might go, Ras, why on God's green earth did you arm the crazy doctor? Well, it'll make sense in the end, I promise you. But... It won't make sense right now. Spoilers, you know? Oh boy. Let's see. Three mags. Three mags. And a club. We're gonna need that mystery fluid. I mean, the good news is now... Yeah, we'll, 
we'll grow the save. I think this is us, so we'll just keep the rotation going. Whoa. Pick it up, but I got limited ammo. Limited space. I'd rather carry it than burn it right now. Hey. So we got no way up and out. No spare needle. No way to carry it. Oh no, this is not the play. <laughs> Although, if I'm down here... There might be a no return. Um, yeah, we'll plant that down here. If it's not a chase, we, we have a, a fast return for it. Takes a bit of time to set up, but might be. Alright. Feels derpy, but hopefully it do the trick. I don't like juggling supplies. Well, you'd call me.
Double up. Only downside is swapping between between pistols means your lamp's off. Whoa. Uh oh. Nothing surreal about a flooded, flooded sewer. Oh man. Guess that means the sewers count back. Well, you know what that means, Editor Asp. What on the board? Por favor. to drop a weapon or the flashlight Ooh. don't think we can juke him think we'll have to head back to the water all right for a sewer I could try going back for the Glock, but, um, no. <laughs> Not doing it, you can't make me. It's, it's a Glock. It's a long and well. It's a dear comfort to me in the dark.
Kirkdale. Hometown. And a recorder for our convenience. I, I definitely don't want to do that sewer section twice. Sewer, Kirkville. use of a flashlight, so if a third possibility comes up... Mm, we're good on health, but I'll have to remember that syringe. What with our pockets being full of gun? I have to expect Saw Runner to bust out of one of these. to know in case I run low in shotgun. Budge, don't want budge. Um, yep. Ah, uh, for right now, best yet. Okay, so I do actually need the flashlight for something. Uh, guess we'll drop the shotgun for now. For silly me. Alright, one. Uh, because my instincts are have that the number two. I'm afraid. Uh. 
Okay. I think it's the first time we dropped one of those spikers. Feels so odd the game being generous with supplies. if we need it. Mm, there's one near. <laughs> mm, I think I'll limp to the far, the far piece. I suppose it's the way save. I can drop the sledgehammer in the flashlight, pick up the shotgun. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Shotgun and... and the rifle. The, the, the M16. Make sure I'm spacing these out. I won't keep that far I or that far syringe. At least until we hit a point of no return. Welcome back, old friend. Yeah, two. One and free. My Z was alt. Yeah, single fire first. Uh, stick with single fire. Can I remember what aim down sight was? Hmm. Let me consult the options. Petrary. Secondary. Control the couch. Dodge. Or, uh, dodge also works with double tapping a direction, hence Hence, occasionally flinging yourself off a perch. Primary, secondary is fast too. Tetrary. All right. I linked it to to Massive. Haven't been using it much though. Hmm. I suppose I should fuck you, pick you up. Oh, we threw out all our mags with it. Okay. No, I have one. All right, and fast you two. Okay. We are mobile and hostile. And 
tears destroyed. I mean, tears destroyed. Tears destroyed. What about this bike, though? Those are locked. Not a. Uh, also not a. Uh, pretty sure not a. Uh. All right. Oh, well, games are hurting me. Okay, I can take a hint. Dark one night. Mm. It must be a weird load glitch. All right. These are some packed suburbs. Oof. Well, she she's a 10-year-old game. Textures aren't always going to apply perfectly. Still topped on a shotgun. We're still topped off on the shotgun. Okay, good, great, grand. Man, if you can make it three quarters of the way for the game. There is a wealth of ammo to be had in this surreal nightmare. It's weird because, you know, the first time in the game I'm I'm in daylight and I'm nervous. Not there. Finally home. I hope mom's okay. Man, for your sake, I hope so too, buddy. Ugh, I, I, I really feel for Simon right this instance because good, our our duders been through the ringer. So when he came in, that's the bedroom. A book?
So a lot of you are going to be asking, what? This is what happened after the crash. Whoa. We, we are the wheelchair of Simon. Simon was hit by the car and paralyzed from the waist down. He obsessed over it. He was already on the brink. And the process of riding pushed him over. We've been playing as Simon, how he remembers the events, the trauma, the frustration, all bleeding out into it. That's why we can't go some places, because Simon never went there. And so we face the version of Simon with his legs still up. The faster, more agile version of us. The version we wish we still were. Simon. And we got no access to inventory. In the other versions of the ending, you fight wheelchair Simon. The book supplanting the man himself. Basically a representation of Simon wishing that this was all over. Which happens if you don't finish off Yeah! Which happens if you don't hand the gun to Dr. Purnell or you choose not to finish off the carcass boss, but we've done it. I stopped myself from doing it, from committing suicide. But it didn't only leave me alive. It also left two police officers dead. I killed them. Shot them both. This was not supposed to happen. Doctors testified that I was having a psychosis, which means that my punishment won't be too hard for me to bear. I have to spend the rest of my life in a mental hospital, where nurses and doctors are taking care of me. They let me finish my book, and uh, it has helped me. A lot. I wrote a happy ending. Just for myself. I feel better now. I, I am more at peace with myself. Even though I'm still stuck in this wheelchair. 
but I... I accept that now. I can never forgive myself for shooting those two officers, though. But I have so many supportive people around me now, so... I, I think I will be okay. Dr. Purnell is mentoring me and is watching my progress. I am lucky to have him. Sophie visits me every once in a while. When the doctor's letter, that is. They still think her visits are too destabilizing for me and that it hinders my progress. I keep on telling her how sorry I am for making her life miserable every time she's here. She, ju she just laughs a bit and tells me to stop being so silly. But I can see the damage I've done to her in her eyes every time she looks at me. She found a new friend. One who is there for her and treats her right. I'm happy for her. Though I'll miss the good moments we've had. Knowing that they'll never come back. I think this is a good time to close this book. It has changed my life forever. The end. Yeah, it's sad. But the other endings are, in a word, brutal. Andres Ronberg. If you don't kill Carcass, James Marchant. If you don't kill Carcass, Simon decides, in his bitterness, to take Sophie with him. If you don't hand the gun, Jody Barin. Uh, if you don't hand the gun to Dr. Purnell, showing trust in, in the process, in the attempt to get better. Stieg Stiegs. who is still voice acting. Les Hulman, the good doctor. He went a little method for the performance, um, like smoking cigarettes to lower his voice and using a belt for, for the cries of pain to just smack himself across the back. Inya Hadwick, who I think voiced Sophie. Don't know if she's still working. Oh, there's the, there's, there's the channel cat. There's Torbs. Got anything to say to the good people of YouTube, Torbs? Oh. No, oh, you just want attention. All right, it's a good time for once. Go pet my cat up. But uh, if you don't trust the doctor, then it's do away with Carcass, then Simon kills the doctor and plays out the same otherwise. And the worst ending in which you don't trust trust the doctor and fork over the gun or finish off Carcass, the, the angst of you know, Simon's existence, his his acceptance of his new state is what that's addressing, his self-hatred for, you know, his frustrations with his, his state of life, and what that denies him, you get the darkest ending, which I hate because it's painful, so, well, it's not the happy-go-lucky ending. Simon gets to go on. He still has to face consequences for his choices. But they aren't... It's not... It's not the darkest ending. It's sad. But oddly mature for something out of the two... Out of the 2000s development cycle. Tor Tor now is not the time for so Torb Yorns is attempting a shoulder sits. He's being a pest. 
But yeah, they're supporters, friends. And some of the models they borrowed. Like, there's another game I might try out called Paranoia. That they borrowed the shaders from. Instead of using these standard Half-Life shaders. <sighs> Alright. Statistics and grade. Shots fired, 999. Shots hit, 750. Shots missed, 244. Okay. That's better than two-thirds accuracy. Hey, turns out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 75% accuracy. We hit what we aims for, 93rd damn near all the time. 32 syringes used. Time saved, 86. Weapons found, 17. Overall damage taken, 1,970. Distance traveled on foot, 46.23 kilometers. Time taken, 6 hours at 58 minutes, 40 seconds. Enemies killed by melee, 50. Enemies killed by firearms, 991. Difficulty chosen, normal. Ending scene, 4. Unlocked. Unafraid of monsters suit. Unlocked. Half Light Creations hoodie. Unlocked. Diamond suit. Unlocked. Developer commentaries. Unlocked. Secret package. Unlocked. Nightmare mode. Unlocked. Book page one. Book page four. Unlocked. Doctor mode. All oh, right. Well, let's take a look at them unlockables. Equip in the secret room. Hidden package. Nightmare difficulty. How to find other pages in Saxon Avenue. Search under vehicles. Search the field in the forest. You know the one with the knob. In the subway tunnels, search around the fans. On the bridge, search around the abandoned car. How to unlock the items. Secret item. See ending four. Secret item. Beat the doctor mode. Blockade. Yeah, and that's that's all the pages we got. Okay. That's not bad. Enable in difficulty menu. Oh, well, we might do a peruse of that. Well, we'll hop in on medium. Eddie and Rass will take care of this part for us, though. So I kind of want to see what else is lying around, and uh, the other thing they did was the MP5 update, in which you join a group on Steam that was previously for supporters and donators, and they unlocked access to the MP5. I want to see if they made good on that. Ah, here we are again. Hate you. Hate you too. Buddy. Let's see if if Spooks Mingy gets me. How's it going, Book Simon? I can't take this anymore. Mm. Alright, Spooks McGee, I'm ready for you this time.
Interesting enough. Not this time. I knew you were coming for me, Spoop Deluxe. All right. This time I remembered. Uh, I put that in because I wanted to see if Spooks Deluxe would get me for a fourth time. I think I think finishing the game gave me gave me a spoop immunity. All right, but we should be near the secrets room, and I I haven't been in, I haven't ever finished, so I uh, to pad the episode a little. I, I just want to see in it. No phone credit as usual. But how are we getting text? Are you on that that terrible talk time versus text? It, we're like, you get way too much, and I'm having flashbacks to the early 2000s. Actually, strike that, reverse it. Man, the battery on this thing. So remember that door that... Oh, I didn't even catch you last time, Creeper. Aha. Ugh. Oh, yeah. The MP5. With... Magazine with 300 rounds. Simon Hendrickson. Ooh. Brand monster suit. Flash games. Sick Simon. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But yeah, this this is where you can find your unlocked hood eye. I do I do dig I do dig the beard Simon. I think I'm gonna go with with the white hoodie be daring yeah yeah what the it's addressed to me should I take it yeah why not so downside of the mp5 is uh you get 300 rounds but just 300 rounds, 30 magazines. Uh, all right. Well, that is much shorter a run to the end that I thought I had. I was literally in spitty distance, and if I pushed, I probably could have finished it. But, them's, them's the breaks, I suppose. I guess we'll hit the save and call it a day. Oh, how's it going? How's it going, Sawyer? What's up? Yeah. I mean, the other downside is the MP5 is a two-hander, so uh, I don't think you can use it with the the phone. Actually, I wonder. Nope. And no alt fire model, just full auto. CA-45. Huh. Or excuse me, EA-45. Unforgettable. What are you saying? Uh, there, there's a rotation of possible passwords and usernames. So every time, it might be different. Mm. Well, well, we'll leave it off here. I, I might do another run. 
for giggles. Uh, the Doctor Mode's definitely gonna be in in the far, far future, if at all. There's plenty of content left here, but uh, for now, we're we're gonna call it a day. Ooh. Oh, 10 30 round magazines. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not not the fastest reload, but Do we keep the AC slap in? Yeah! HK slap. Okay, okay, enough enough fiddling with my new ballistics. Okay, well, it's been Cry of Fear, which has a rather morose but hopeful ending. Uh, holy heck, I actually managed to finish it. So... Yes, next is to announce the next game up before we get into the outro. And the next game up is Remorse the List, as chosen by a spinner wheel from a site. And upon looking at the footage, I realized this doesn't look great. I should really just announce the game and work on getting a less terrible spin wheel picker for the next time um but yeah next up next tuesday the the weird horror game slot will be taken up by remorse the list which has similar vibes uh there are a couple of others i've been meaning to get to um this one isn't a freebie it's on steam uh, the price isn't horrific. It's a shorter game. I, I, I'm a little leery of starting into it because I, I did hear some, some folks that played it mention having to edit around, uh, possible TOS issues, but it has a similar floaty unreal feel to, uh, Cry of Fear at the end there. And uh, I saw it and knew that if I ever finished Cry of Fear, I was going to be playing this one too eventually. Um, it's a little meter because they make you carry around your ammo in the inventory. Uh, and like the one thing they, they just hand you is stack in this game is stacking syringes and enough pocket space for all the ammo between uh, Stockholm and Kirksville. All right, so uh, with that bit of announcement out of the way, we're going to bring this to its conclusion. And for the last time for a while on Cry of Fear, thank you for watching. I appreciate you coming along for the trip, keeping me company by the trash fire as it burns brightly for the night, warming my heart in this dark, dreary Stockholm evening. So, while it's not the happiest of endings, it is a hopeful one. So, Pinky, what the heck? I managed to keep my promise. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and to uh, any of the friends from from the the Gloriana streams, uh, thanks thanks for popping in. I don't know if any of you are out there. Let let me know uh, down below if you is. I don't keep up on comments as much as I should, but there aren't many, so it evens out a bit. Um, so the usual applies. Finish up your snacks. Have yourself a good tr stretch by the trash fire. Remember to hydrate and take care of yourselves. And until next time on Trash Tier Gaming, I've been your humble host, Rasp, a trash bear. 
So you have a pleasant remainder of your evening and good night. I'll see you next time.